All right, welcome to Best Gear, guys. And my name is Joel. And I'm Marty. And this father-son duo is going to be talking today about backpacking chairs, backpacking chairs. Um, these are all lightweight. We've got four of them that we're gonna be reviewing. We're not gonna be reviewing the most expensive ones that are on the market because, uh, well, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, the most expensive one that we have actually is this one right here. It's the A-Lite Monarch chair. They actually don't make them anymore, but um, if you wanna find one like it, it's uh, you can look at the Helinox chairs, I believe that's what they're called. And they're pretty lightweight and pretty durable, I've heard. So I actually never tried them. We have not tried the Helinox um, because what's the point? It, if you're gonna pay that kind of money, you're already committed. Um, you know, there, there's a line of the, the more expensive ultralight, this, the A-Lite represents uh, kind of what we have in this category as the more expensive backpacking chairs. We have about a pound and two ounces on the A-Lite, and you'll get to see that taken apart and put together and see how it compares. Um, the other three that we have here, we're gonna call them budgeting backpacking chairs. Um, tell us about the, the weight and price of each one. So this is the Trekology, it's called Yeezy Light. I think that's how you say it. And uh, this actually weighs about, I think it was one pound, 10 ounces. And um, it has a really durable outside bag that's a rip stop, which I really like. It's pretty nice. 40 to $45. So for our budget end of backpacking chairs, it's a little bit more expensive. End. Yeah. And um, where, you know, when we go to the one pound, two ounces, more of the expensive brand, you're going to pay about $100. Uh, this one in particular is not sold anymore. I think uh, they, they sell, if, if you find any, it's gonna be uh, 100 and above. But the Hillinox, about 100, a little bit more than that. Um, but the budget versions that we're going over today, we're talking about $50 or less. But the Trekology represents the uh, most expensive of the budget ones that we have. And the next one that we have is, uh, you, we found this on Amazon and we were just like, hey, it's $25, let's see how it does. It weighs in at two pounds and one ounce and just a little over that, maybe a half an ounce more than that, but about two pounds, one ounce. Um, this one costs, yeah, 25 bucks. It's This is by far the most comfortable one that we tried out. It sits, a, wow, man, I'm gonna say a good two to four inches off the ground. Man, when we, when we sat on this one, what were your thoughts about it? Super comfortable. You can lean forward in it, which you can't do with this two-leg design we have here. Um, it's, it's high enough off the ground. You can kind of lean back if you want. And um, super comfortable on the back. The fabric's really nice, but it's very heavy, yeah. which is why I wouldn't personally choose this out of the budgeting backpacking um, chairs we have here. Two pounds, one ounce, uh, you know, heavy is a relative word when it comes to ultralight backpacking. To our lightest version, one pound, two ounces to two pounds, one ounce, we're not even talking about, it's almost a pound difference between the two. That's a lot to ultralight backpackers. If you're not an ultralight backpacker, then you're just wanting comfort. We, by far, is the comfort, most comfortable one is this $25 version, however, um, you could see our next one we're going to review is only about uh, 20 bucks, $19 actually. Um, little little uh, shorter, um, and actually it's about one pound lighter. Uh, it just doesn't sit as high off the ground, and it it, it is super comfortable, but um, I, I think the, the heaviest one was the most comfortable. Yeah, for uh, sure. This $25 version. Now let's compare sizes on, on the packed weight. I'm go ahead and hold that one up here. So now we've got, you could see it gets progressively smaller. Let's go super lightweight. Uh, let's hold that one on top. You can just see um, big the light, difference. Yeah, big actually, difference. From the, between the biggest one and the smallest one. The one in the middle actually isn't too bad. I really like this one. It's a nice size. So what's the recommendation? Um, if we're going ultra light. I would pick up one like this, obviously. But for starting out for a budget price, 
I would definitely have to go with this one. All right, and that was the, it's the 19 or $20 yeah. version. Yeah, it's lightweight compared to the other one that's around its price range. Um, more packable size. I mean, slightly, but still a little bit of a difference. Yeah. And um, it's actually pretty comfortable. It's like maybe a little less comfortable than this one, but still it holds up really well. And yeah, very comfortable overall. Ripstock bag. Um, you know, you know. Again, yeah. As you're starting out, um, to go something super light like this, if you really don't care about, you know, if you're if you're a backpacker and you're like, I really don't care. I could I could sit on rocks. I could sit on the ground. Then, um, yeah, you you really don't need anything super comfortable, and you're willing to pay the price to get something good down the road. Packability becomes more of a value over time for backpackers and ultralight backpackers. So you're probably gonna go in the direction of spending about $100 or over for some of the uh, newer backpacking chairs. But if comfort is important to you, you have a bad back, um, you know, you really don't care about an extra pound of weight, hey, you'll be happy to, you know, tie this to the bottom of your straps, you know, to go, to go with something like this or this, and it's cheaper, some people are just gonna go for it. And I'd say if you're gonna go for it, you know, one of these two would probably, it's just much more comfortable. Trekology, I think they did a great job because they kind of found the middle of the road price range and weight and size. Yeah, for sure. So if you're like, eh, I don't know for sure. I really don't want to go super large and heavy, but I, I'm not ready to spend a hundred bucks. You, you cannot go wrong uh, with the Trekology. So anyway, yeah, just some different options to consider. Yep. Thanks for joining us uh, for Best Gear Guys. And you can find us on bestgearguys.com uh, for some other product reviews and backpacking tips that you might wanna check into.